I just finished playing uh, First Ascendant. Uh, I played it for about, what, an hour, an hour and a half to two hours. I think overall it's pretty good. It's a solid uh, looter shooter game so far. I think the gameplay is probably the best of it. And uh, I basically dabbled like about, yeah, an hour and a half to two hours into the game. So I'm not really, really deep into it, but overall I think it's pretty good. I think the mechanics are pretty good. I think this, I think the character design is good. I think for the, uh, the fidelity is pretty good. But the thing is, what I'm missing is I'm there are, there needs to be jiggle physics all right there isn't enough jiggle physics I need like stellar blade quality worth of jiggle physics and the thing is if we get more of that we loosen it up the characters move left to right and the boobs jiggle the ass flaps cheeks like it goes crazy I'm in for it but the thing is not all games can be stellar blade but speaking of Speller Blade, I saw an article that I have to talk about. It comes to us from Fandom Wire. Here it is. All you wear, where's my sexy ladies at complainers, God of War, David Jaffe, blunt verdict on the first descendant brings up Speller Blade controversy, PTSD. Wow. Wow. Let's see. The first descendant is truly reminiscent of Stellar Blade. So here we go. David Jaffe, the mind of, of God of War, recently shared his thoughts on Nexon's latest release, The First Ascendant. The game saw its global release on July 2nd, 2024. After an hour of gameplay, Jaffe praised the game's mechanic, uh, mechanics, particularly the character control, grappling, and shooting. He humorously addressed the ongoing debate about character design, pointing out the fans searching for traditionally sexy characters will not be disappointed, referencing the discussion similar to those surrounding Stellar Blade. The first Ascendant's explosive entry into the gaming world, Nexon, a South Korean develop, uh, publisher known for games like The Finals and Dave the Diver, developed The First Descendant as a first-party title. It is a looter shooter that has quickly gained uh, popularity. Right over here, at the moment, I got zero clue about MTX, um, which is microtransaction, pay to win, or a variety of the game. But what I have uh, know so far after an hour of playing, the character is super cool and control grapple with, and all you, where's my sexy ladies at, complainers will find a lot to love here. Despite its solid mechanics and positive reception, the game also has some controversy due to the scantily clad designs of the characters, reminiscent of Stellar Blade's protagonist Eve, Ultimate Bunny. That's a hundred dollars, man. A hundred dollars. They trying to compete with Stellar Blade now? No. I would say um, if you get the jiggle physics on point, then you can compare. Then you can compare. Right? As of right now, if there are characters that you can see in full bikini, then yeah, I can see that they, they are comparing themselves to Stellar Blade. But as of right now, no. This comparison has led to debates about the portrayal and objectification of female characters in video games exactly like the past criticism faced by Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade developed by Shift Up face backlash for its protagonist's skimpy attire, which many felt objectified women. This new release by Nexon appears to be following a similar path and the character designs. Here's the thing though. Do you know why the game is doing really well? It's because the game looks good. It has hot male characters and hot female characters. None of the characters in this game are ugly and fat, all right? All of them are extremely attractive and, you know, and attractive in a conventional way. So where everyone thinks, oh yeah, this is a good looking guy. Oh yeah, this is a hot looking woman. No one is complaining about that, okay? The reason why the game is doing well, because the game looks great, it lures people in and people are like, okay, you got my attention. Is this game good? So far, the game is pretty good, right? So far, the game is pretty good. Not every game needs jiggle physics. I'm gonna unmod you right now, just JK. Just for saying that, I'm gonna I'm going to unmod you right now. But the thing is, um, the game drew people in by having good looking characters with nice aesthetics. The gameplay is pretty solid. I think the gameplay loop is pretty solid. And overall, the game plays pretty well. Right? So the thing is, like the fact that you have all of that is what makes it good. Same thing with Stellar Blade. Same thing with Nikkei. Same thing with every character that has hot, uh, hot attractiveness to it, right? Um, the reason why people bought Stellar Blade was because it looks great, and then the game also plays great. That's what pisses a lot of people off. A lot of these woke journalists and people who are complaining online on Twitter, 
they wanted Stellar Blade to fail. They want the First Ascendant to fail. They want any game that has hot women to fail. It's because it'd be, ha ha, your hot character games did nothing for you. So that's the reason why there's people like him, right? But y'all would say Stellar Blade is censored when it looks exactly like this. But here's the thing. Uh, the First Ascendant, what rating is ESRB, right? First, the, the first, shh, crap, the first descend i'm spelling it wrong descendant uh there it is the first ascendant yes rb okay it's t for teen t for teen all right this motherfucker right here doesn't know shit it's because stellar blade is m for mature that means that none of the censorship should have happened this dumb fuck right over here doesn't know shit Okay, and I worked in the game industry. I know the game stuff. I, I've been working for in the game industry for more than 10 years. ESRB for First Ascendant, Teen. Stellar Blade is mature. All right? That's why it's censored. That's why we're mad that censored. That we're mad that Shift Up said there isn't going to be any censorship. And then a couple of days before the release, there was censorship. That's the reason why we're upset. Right? It's the principle. God damn it. The game features a character named Bunny, whose ultimate suit was draw, uh, has drawn attention for its revealing nature. According to uh, Games Lore, Bunny's suit is powerful but unfinished piece of equipment, supposedly as effective as a complete suit. The lore explanation has been met with skepticism, with many questioning whether it justifies the character's revealing outfit or it's merely a marketing point to attract a specific audience. It's yes and yes. It's meant to it is meant to attract men. And it's also meant to attract women because women find these outfit attracting attractive too. Okay? So people like him, people like people who are complaining online that there are fat people and and, and, and uh, ugly people who are complaining saying that you shouldn't objectify women, yada yada yada. Do you know who objectify women more than men? Women. Jesus. The slower explanation has been met with skepticism, which is crazy, man. Uh, God of War, David Jaffe, and the gaming community are loving despite bugs. Yeah, I think there are bugs in the game. There's sort of hitch and glitches from time to time. There is um, connectivity issues. But overall, the game is playable, and I think the game is fun. All right? I, yeah, the game... Yeah, there aren't server crashes. I heard people are having a long time uh, loading in earlier today or yesterday. A couple of issues here and there. But overall, the game is fun. I liked it. Right? I give it a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, I need to see more. I need. I probably need to play more. But we'll see. The game focuses on cooperative gameplay where players fight to save humanity. Its rapid rise in popularity suggests that it might follow the successful path of major titles despite initial server issues and some negative feedback. Enjoying First Ascendant needs some bug fixes, but overall the game is solid. Amidst the praise for its gameplay, the game is also facing inevitable technical challenges on of a new release. Players have reported glitches, particularly in the in-game currency, caliber, and server connectivity issues. The developers have knowledge, sorry, have acknowledged this and are fixing it, which they did. There was a huge downtime today where they actually need to um, fix the servers. Despite the controversy, this new entry is performing well, showing potential to compete with games like Helldivers. However, server issues, in-game glitches have marred its launch, echoing the rocky starts of many popular online games. Players remain hopeful that these issues will be resolved promptly and the ongoing discourse about its character design and technical issues will likely shape its reception. The game's ability to address these concerns and deliver a balanced experience will determine its long-term success. Yes, have you played it? Yeah, I played it, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and check Steam charts. Let's go ahead and check the Steam charts right now. How many people are playing? How many uh, How many people are playing right now? Steam charts. Let's see. First one that shows up right over here. How many people are playing? 151,000 people are playing right now. That's fucking crazy. It's only been out for two days. Overall, I think people are really enjoying the game. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out right now. Let's go to the actual play, uh, the actual store page. Uh, let's see, go over here. Uh, you know, let's go store. Uh, let's see, let's go to store. Go back up, you stupid store. Okay. There it is. Uh, what is it right now? Yes, I am a billion years old. It is mixed, right? So I guess it's a lot of server issues. As of right now, it's mixed reviews, which is fine. 
um hopefully in a couple days it gets better hopefully next on game fixes it but as of right now i think overall this game is i, I think this game is in a good spot i think this game this game is in a good spot it has 151,000 people the peak today in the past 24 hours was 224 which is huge which is absolutely absolutely huge now will it get to the part would it will it ever get to the state of hell divers right as of right now hell divers is a pve game but the thing is that you can't unlock everything in game by, by just playing it right but are there going to be more patches more enemy types coming up compared to the first ascendant i think the first ascendant does have a leg up is because it has um it has pay to win unfortunately it has pay to win it has um it has you know microtransactions and it could be good or a bad thing for the game right hopefully the game gets better a lot of the bugs has will, will be fixed and uh yeah i think overall this is great right if the game was released uh with day zero uh day zero alphas originally they wouldn't have an issue it's the bait and switch the dangle uh the one thing and then change it to journal complaints yeah that, that that's the reason why stellar blade had a lot of issues in the beginning but overall stellar blade is a really fun game too right so but i i just hope this game does the same um man yeah, what a chance to fill play summer clover offline i don't know what that is but i have to check it out now i have to check it out but overall i think the first ascendant is really good i um i think i think it's if you're interested even just a little bit go and play it right despite Despite the, uh, the the bug issues and stuff like that, I think they overall the gameplay is really good, and I think that's the most important. I think gameplay is king right now. Uh, I think gameplay is the best right now, and um, and if this game remains that and it gets better and better and better, I think this game will be a, a huge success. But I'm not a big fan of microtransaction, and that, I think that's the reason why I like Hell Divers more. And um, I think Hell Divers is a hop and hop out. You can cross play. It's just definitely fun, right? Hell Divers is far more better game, but it got fucked by Sony among a few other compounding issues. Yeah, as of right now, when how many people are playing Hell Divers, right? Comparatively, Hell Divers two, fifteen thousand peak today was thirty four for a game that came out earlier this year it's not bad right but i think the first ascendant we'll see where first ascendant is in about like a week we'll see we'll see um we'll see where it is in a couple weeks but the thing is that how 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 much more new content right pve is sort of hard especially if you're especially if they're not adding in constantly new content it's going to be a very very hard game for you to continue playing because as of right now like i'm i'm i've I'm not even max level. I didn't even get to level 25 in Helldivers. And I feel like it's repetitive. Right? But the thing is that as of right now, we'll see how far Helldivers can get. And we'll see how far uh, Last Ascendant will get. As of right now, I think the bunny outfit, it was draw. Now, here's the thing. If they have more outfits like this, bikini outfit, um, and they sell it, like, do it. I think this game will this game will do really, really well. This game will do really, really well. If they, they, mark, they know their fan base. They know they know the demographic they know who's buying it and they know who's playing it like they actually like a lot of these companies they have these actual um you know uh these actual data they know if how many males how many females they have all that kind of stuff so if they know their demographic they know that hot character sell sex sells of course they lean into the shit, but at the same time make the gameplay good right you can have you can have super super hot characters in the game but if your game sucks no one's going to play your game right so hopefully, Nexon, continue doing your thing. Hot characters, good gameplay. That's it. It's that simple.